So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import credit card charges from a text or Excel file into QuickBooks Desktop using Z-axis. So it's likely that you downloaded a Excel or a text file containing those transactions. And in that file, you can have a column for the date of the transaction. You'll have a column for the memo or description of that, and also a column for the amount. But in order to import that into QuickBooks Desktop, you're gonna need a payee, um, and likely you're gonna need an expense account as well. So you're just gonna to need to add some additional information into QuickBooks in order to import credit card charges in QuickBooks successfully. Now in the demonstration, I'm gonna show you how you can use a constant value or how you can use a search and replace function within Axis to actually do some categorization or additional coding of that information so that it can get imported successfully into QuickBooks. The other way you can do it is if you have access to a QIF or QEO file format, then you can watch a, another demonstration that I recorded in the link above, which shows you how you can use the coding template feature within Z-Axis. So let's get onto the desktop and I'll show you how using Z-Axis you can import that data and create credit card charges in QuickBooks Desktop. So I've opened my QuickBooks Enterprise and the company file that I'm going to import the credit card charges into. So next we'll open Z-Axis and we'll connect Z-Axis to that QuickBooks Desktop company file. Then within the import module, we'll browse to the file that contains the credit card statement that we're going to import into QuickBooks. So this is an Excel file. Now we, we also support text files as well as IIFs. So once the file's loaded, you'll notice that within this screen, you, the information provided typically by the bank will be a date column, a narrative or a memo or description of the charge, as well as a, either a debit or credit column or just one column with the amount in it. So what we need, if we're successfully gonna get credit card charges into QuickBooks is we're gonna need something to describe the payee and something to describe the category or the expense account that the credit card charge is gonna be imported against. So we've got a column for the payee and for the expense account. So next we're going to create a new mapping and select the transaction type as credit card charge. Now in this screen, we can see on the left-hand side, we have a column containing all the QuickBooks fields that are on a credit card charge. And on the right hand side, we have the columns contained within the import file. So we need to go th through a process of matching those up. If you're unsure of what those fields are, you can click on this blue link here and it will take you to a article on our website, which will describe each of those fields in detail. So the first field we have here is the actual name of the credit card account in QuickBooks. So we don't have that in our import file. So what we can use is a constant. So we can use, we can set that value and always be used when we use this mapping. Next, we're gonna map in the payee, which will be the additional column that we added. We'll map in the date, the expense account against the category and the expense amount, as well as the memo. Now we'll use that as the what the bank has supplied, but I'd provide a little bit more information on that. Now there are other fields that we can map here. So you can map the customer job if you need to make these charges billable to a customer job. Equally, we can map the class as well as information about the tax code, the billable status, the sales rep, and even custom fields can be added here as well. So there's a lot of additional information that Z-Axis can bring in over and above what is supported by QuickBooks. So once we've completed the mapping, we'll give the mapping a name. So once we've saved the map, we can then view only the fields that will be brought into QuickBooks and the corresponding data for that. So what you'll see in this grid is that we are actually missing some values around the pay and the expense account. Now I've done this to show you that we can add the information directly into this grid if we need to, or we could use a search and replace function to look up keywords in the description 
and automatically add in the payee or expense account accordingly. Now I've recorded another movie on how to use the search and place function um, which you can um, view there and see how you can use that feature. For this example, I'm just going to enter the data directly into the screen here and add it in the missing gaps. So once we've completed that, we can uh, just check the rows that we're going to import into QuickBooks. Well, we're going to leave this one out for the moment because this is actually a credit card payment and we're not going to import it as a charge. So clicking on import will begin. Access will validate the data to make sure it's in the correct format. It will then also go through and add in any missing payees or vendors and any missing or unmatched expense accounts as in QuickBooks. And the final stage is to actually go ahead and import those credit card charges directly into the QuickBooks company file. Now, if any errors are accounted for during the import, you'll get an error message and a detailed message of why the transaction failed. So you can go back and correct that and re-import it. There is a button down here which you can export out the um, a sheet containing all the failed transactions so you can re-attempt to import those as well. So we, once we've done that, we can click on view. We can go and see what's been imported directly in QuickBooks. And then um, if we want to revert that, we can actually have the option here to undo it. So we can delete that transaction that we've just imported into QuickBooks and re-attempt it if we need to. There's also the option to undo all or remove all the transactions if we want to re-attempt the entire pro import process again. So that's very simply how you can use Z-Axis to import credit card charges from text and Excel files directly into QuickBooks desktop.